Hello and welcome back to Building Modern APIs with RESTful. My name is Mateo and uh, today I want to show you how you can embed resources inside of resources. So I, I don't know if many of you attended DrupalCon Barcelona but th there was a particular slide that Dries was showing where he was stating that um, it's not a perfect wall for REST in Drupal 8 um, because of mainly three problems. Uh, one is that um, many page views require multiple requests to the, to the backend. So in here you can see uh, what is the server or the backend. This is where Drupal lives. And in here this represents the front end or where your app lives. This could be React, uh, an Android app or a Roku app, Apple TV, whatever, and uh, it this states that uh, traditionally, uh, like for instance, REST in Drupal 8, uh, what we do is we make a request. In our case, it would be the request to the record label, and we get some information back. So at this point, what we are getting is something. Uh, sorry, let me go to the particular record level. Um, so we what we are getting is the information uh, about the entity that we are requesting and some references to other to to other entities or should I say resource entities. So uh, what this means is that uh, again we request one then the, the app says, okay, but I also need the information inside of the bands and the artists. So it requests these two other things with three different requests and goes back. And um, what, it, what it gets is everything that it needs in as many requests that, that it takes, uh, which is... <coughs> Uh, which is doable, but uh, it's, uh, as it's stated here, a very poor dev experience. So, um, we're trying to work in the direction of uh, solving this, and also, uh, you, you, you have to bear in mind that there is the problem of when you work with REST in, in Drupal 8 as of today, uh, what you get when you request a record label is every possible field that is in the in the record label node so that means that we just uh, get the entity serialize and return it everything that is in there so we already learned how we can use the the fields option here to just request what we need so this part here is um, is solved in, in RESTful, or at least is mitigated in, in RESTful. And uh, we are going to work towards mitigating this one, the fact that we need multiple round trips. So, that being said, uh, first, since we just started building our API, we are going to, of course, need resources for the band and for the people. So I marked this uh, the band with a plus sign and the people with the um, with the star sign. So uh, let's go do it. Uh, we know how how we can create a new resource because we did it for labels. So uh, let's start here and we're going to start with bands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the class band, oops, bands one zero Drupal mm, rest full oops tutorial plugin resource entity node Oh, node and bands. Right, 
So uh, we should be familiar with this. Uh, that's all it takes. Now I'm going to create a doc block in here to turn this into a plugin by adding the annotation. I'm gonna, just going to copy this over uh, into bands. And uh, I'm going to replace this. As, as you can see, uh, I do this uh, a lot, just copying and replacing. And voila, uh, I only need to change this. I'm gonna make sure that I get the correct, okay, um, the correct bundle or content type. So it's called band. I'm gonna paste it here and and that should be it. And now I'm gonna extend resource node as we talked about before and I'm going to override the public fields because we know that uh, if we don't we will only get the ID label and self link. Right, so it's a good way to start with um, with the parent call public fields equals return public fields. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the people endpoint. So uh, I just leave, leave it like this. Uh, now we have to just fill in this, um, these public fields, but I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to create the other one right away. So <coughs> sorry about that. Um, let me create this and oops. Right. Okay, <clears throat> this this started. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I apologize about that. Um, sometimes when I talk for too long, my throat get it, gets itchy. So I'm gonna copy over this method as well. Actually, let me close this and split this vertically so we can have both resources right next to each other. So, um, we need to start declaring the fields that, that we want to expose. First name, middle name, and last name. <coughs> well, this is being hard. First name, 
we know how to do that property and then the name of the field Come on. and I'm coming here oh this is band I need to go to person manage fields Okay, uh, this looks good. First name, middle name, last name. That should be all that we need. And let's move to bands. <coughs> and for bands, uh, we want to expose the name, the bio, and the members. All right. Name equals Ray. Let me just do this so we can just fill the blanks. So name, the name of the band is the, the title. So you could use just here title. But for educational purposes I'm gonna do something different. So let's leave this apart and Fill the other stuff, uh, bio. Mm. And here we know that we need value. Oops, sorry. And Finally, we need the band members. Mm -hmm. Okay, here. And again, here. I want to remove the HTML tags. All right, we don't need anything else, so we can remove this. And <coughs> oh, I'm feeling awful. Um, let's uh, do this differently. So these field declarations here are nothing more than a small wrapper around the entity metadata wrapper. And I I know that it sounds like a lot of wrapping there, but actually it's just a, a way to provide some configuration in form of key values that control how to use the entity metadata wrapper in order to get the information out of the entity with the way that we want. So one of the ways that uh, we want to get the or we can get the name would be imagine that we have the wrapper entity oops entity come on. node and then our band so imagine that we had this then what we would do would be we could call wrapper.label and get the identity like this. So this is how we can get the title. Um, just like this, and uh, this would translate, this configuration here would translate into wrapper 
and then arrow property and then that means body and then since there is a sub property that means value and then uh, we go on this this thing here we call value so this will transform into <coughs> fill members value and that's it so um, basically uh, the only thing that we are missing is this uh, which is we apply this callback to the result of this so as, as you can see um, in here we always call wrapper body or wrapper and then the name of the property and optionally we can pass a sub property and then we call value on it but uh, we can control value this method here is just the, the default you could call whatever that you want if you had a property that uses um, another another method that is not value you could do something like wrapper method equals my thing and this would transform into this so pretty much you you can uh, do almost whatever you want or whatever you need to do uh, just by passing some some configuration so uh, let's let's see here I'm gonna remove this because this doesn't make sense here um, because we don't even have the band available uh, at this moment so uh, the first thing that I want to do is proper method equals label and then I'm gonna say that instead of calling the method on the property uh, sorry method on wrapper equals true so that means that I'm calling the method on the wrapper itself instead of the method on the property remember that I was telling you wrapper body <coughs> that I was telling you that I call this method on the property unless you get this flag here that means that you call this directly you call this method directly on the wrapper itself so that would translate into label nice so that is um, a way that you can get the title uh, but there is nothing wrong on just doing property title but I wanted to show you how, how you can do it in another way uh, and uh, that gave me an excuse to talk about how this translates into entity metadata wrappers and uh, how, how you can call uh, all the stuff that you need all right, so uh, with this, I need to clear caches to, uh, in order for these two new plugins to be discovered. And uh, after that, we should be able to start getting stuff out of the API. Okay, so it's the moment of the truth. I'm going to call people and... Oh, it's not there. What about bands? Bands is not there either. So what? What's going on here? Bands, no bands. 
namespace is good hmm. hopefully this will be good debugging um, one thing that you can do and I wanted to show you this later on but uh, I guess that this is a good moment oh alright um, hmm. there's something weird here alright let me figure this out and I'll be right back.